Okay, building in this example, um, we are going to attempt to take our um, example a little bit further. Um, we're going to try and make it so that we've got two scenes, um, and in each scene, the um, clicking of the stage will bring in the object that we've or the graphic that we've created, and then um, we will click on the graphic itself to take us to the next scene. So that means we can order our information by scenes. Um, so I'm going to delete the banana off this scene. I'm going to go window, other panels, scene. I'm going to create a new scene. So scene one can just be called apple, and scene two can be called banana. Um, just double check that that's happened. Yep, that's correct. So I'll go back to the apple scene and I'm just going to lower it, lower the apple a little bit so it appears mid stage. Just test that. we will see um, at the moment nothing's happening and there's a reason for this that's because of the way that um, flash will loop from scene to scene unless we tell it not to do so um, so if I just give you a visual example um, go to the banana and I'll put the banana centre stage so it's visible and if we test it again it will flick between the two so see the banana flickering we don't see the apple because it's not on the stage at this point in time if I clicked it at the right time, the apple may be coming to shot, but um, it would be very challenging to do that. So I'm going to close that down, go back to Apple, and the um, frame the actions are on, which is frame 1. I'm just going to put in on in between here a stop, which will stop it from running um, onto the second scene, the scene called Banana, so that when we click now, the apple will come into shot, like so. Okay. What we would also like to do then is to make um, this work for our um, second movie clip, and there are some challenges with that. Um, because we can't have the same function name um, on each scene. Um, we can only declare it once and we'd quite like to keep things simple by just using one function name. So what we're going to attempt to do is to store the name of our clip In the following way, I'm going to create what's known as a variable, which can be used to save information. String, which just means it holds a string of characters, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, underscore, ampersand, things like that. And it will equal the name of the movie clip. And what we're having to do then is replace this with movie clip which is allows us to reference something using a variable name um, really look. so if I just test that now click on the stage ok um, one little detail let's just try that again um, instead of calling it a clip string we'll call it movie take a look at what we've done. Um, essentially, um, I'll just show you the error. We've got an error um, to do with clip in namespace internal um, conflict. What that means is the name already exists and it's correct, it does exist because we've declared it using the keyword variable um, 
in the first scene so we no longer need to do that all we need to do is refer to the name that exists so should we test it again now no issues so on the first scene this is apple scene click the apple appears and then we click on the apple it takes us to the banana if we click on the stage nothing should happen because there's no animation in the banana timeline but just let's say for example close this down and I'll just hide the actions panel go inside the banana timeline which you get to by double clicking it so then we're faced with the graphic symbol we created in the first um, in, well, in the first part of this anyway timeline and um, what I'm going to do is we'll go to 36 I'm going to insert the frame create a motion tween at the start I'll have it off stage at the end I'll position it center stage slightly curl perhaps again and then I'll put my actions in so stop in that keyframe insert a keyframe at the end of the sequence and again another stop and then we'll just test that again ok so we're in the first scene we click the apple appears we click the apple and it's picked up that we've clicked the um, stage conveniently um, so this could be an interesting conundrum um, in um, the final um, outcome but for now um, that's achieved what we want to achieve so we'll call it the end of this video and so let's remove these inverted commas so it's no longer a string we're referring to a movie clip and hopefully that should now work for us let's control and enter to test it click and on it comes ok and that's because the movie clip function um, is ex expecting a movie clip to come into it we could um, reference using a variable in a slightly different way but this is working so what we'll do then is because this function's already been declared we should in the next scene be able to copy and paste these two lines or these three lines here actually I go to the scene banana now banana doesn't actually have an animation yet so we have to bear that in mind uh, so a timeline graphic and then actions and just paste this in here so the variable clip will no longer say apple I'm just going to see it will say banana we will then want to copy and paste this onto the instance name for that movie clip and we will return to oops, get rid of that semicolon we we'll return to scene 1 or apple as it is now called and we're going to add an event listener and function to our movie clip in this what I want to do is when it's clicked send us to the next scene so again we'll be looking for mouse event click as we did in the previous event listener and then we'll call um, go next which can be our own custom function so I'll put a line in between that function keyword goes purple when it's typed correctly be careful that you use just all lowercase there and the name needs to match that which I just created again E which is just a letter that I use to represent the event in shorthand return ok let's move this up a bit so all we want to do then is put next scene followed by brackets that should allow us to go to the next scene 
equally. Uh, we've got to stop. Yes. Okay. So let's give that um, test to start off with. Okay. Let's just pause at the point. 